This is what you need to do to drive the ball great forever. Zero practice needed to find more fairways and lower your scores. So if I walked down the driving range, I would see every golfer setting up to the golf ball pretty much like this. Ball position left heel, club behind the ball, pretty neutral body. And you'll say, well, that actually looks okay. I'm doing things that I should be doing. And then they'll swing and hit tops and slices and all sorts of things. The problem I find with most golfers and probably the elite golfers are the exception to this is when they put the ball position forward in the stance, it creates so many problems mentally and physically that disables them from being a great driver of the golf ball. So here's the solution. No practice needed. Here is the solution that you need to do to drive the ball better forever. So the big error, as the ball goes forward in the stance, so does the head, so does the sternum. The forearms get open, the shoulders get level. That creates a swinging action that gets too picked up in the backswing or starts picked up and then gets whipped in. The shoulders then flatten and then the swing on the way down gets very steep down and across the ball. So the guys hit down and across the ball. When you hit down on the ball, you reduce your distance. You also create more backspin which helps the ball go straight to a degree, but as soon as you start cutting across it and glancing it, you're gonna bring a variety of strikes into play. Heel, toe, bottom of the club, all of which are not too pretty. We wanna hit up on the ball and from the inside with the driver. As soon as we get the golf club traveling from more behind us with the driver, it naturally wants to rotate and close down, which creates far more torque and speed. It also helps us land the planes, I call it, behind the golf ball. All those things are what we're looking for for successful drives, but also longer drives, okay? So you're gonna get longer drives with this as well. What I'm proposing is we change how we stand to the golf ball, pinched a bit from Mo Norman this, but also what John Rahm did during the Masters when he won to hit more draw drives. Well, I'm proposing every golfer that doesn't already hit bomb straight drives does this now forever. So I want you to take a second tee and put it behind the golf ball. And you'll see here, it's about two club heads behind the golf ball, and it's slightly set in on an arc. Now that is gonna be where we set up to the ball from now on. What I want to do is basically put your feet together and put them directly opposite the original ball. So there's a gap in your feet, it's directly opposite the original ball. Take this right foot away to shoulder width, then put the club head behind the tee we put in the ground. Then you can move your left foot just a few centimeters to an inch to get the correct ball position. So the ball position is still staying left heel to encourage us to hit up on the ball. But we're gonna focus our attention and our setup on this tee. So I'm gonna try now and set up and address that tee. So my forearms now, if anything, are gonna sit slightly close to the original ball line. The club head is obviously sat back. My head is sat behind the golf ball. My shoulders now are gonna have more of a tilt in them and my forearms are gonna be slightly more right arm tucked in. So I want you to practice setting up to that golf ball or that tee until we feel comfortable. Then what I'm gonna get you to do is bash that tee into the ground. Now, stay setting up to that tee and we're gonna hit the drive from there. And I almost want you to feel like you're gonna land the club on that tee and focus your eyes on that tee also. Don't peek forward. Don't try and hit the ball. Try and just hit the tee and let the club then continue on and drive through to hitting the ball, which is teed up in its original position. Let's do that. So right arm tucked in, set up to that tee. And a peachy drive down the middle of the fairway. So, Obviously, I'm a professional golfer and I play off scratch. I don't play a lot these days, but I play off scratch. But if ever I'm trying to hit a draw shot on the course, that's how I set up to the ball. If I'm trying to hit a fade with a drive, I'll set up normal. And if I want to hit a straight drive, I might well set up with a club head in between the two, or depending on where the trouble is in the hole, I'll set up exactly like this. It's a game changer. If you set up that way, what it does, it creates instantly a more closed setup, as we've talked about, which encourages this shape of swing. Secondly, it gives us a visual that feels like it's more from the inside. And also because we're trying to land the club, land the plane behind the ball, it helps me shallow out the swing earlier and helps me get the club ascending through the golf ball to get the correct contact point in the face, but also hit up on the ball. 
And just to give you the science, if you have a, like a 90 mile an hour swing and you hit three degrees down versus three degrees up, there's a 15% difference in distance. Nothing changing in terms of the speed, just in terms of how efficient the golf club works. So ideally we want the club to move up on the golf ball and ideally want the club face, what you might feel is closing down. We certainly don't want it opening. Obviously if you're a hook of the ball, having the face feel it opens is good news too. That is what we're looking for. So I want you to go out tomorrow, maybe try a few balls in the range first, but basically set up the golf ball with an imaginary tee peg, two club head widths behind the ball and slightly inside and try and return the club to that spot. If you do that, you will hit more fairways, lower your scores and play better golf and smile an awful lot more. Give it a go and let me know how you get on.